At this time, I want to talk about a very special award that I'm proud to be here to talk to you about today. Um, if you haven't ever seen this before, this is the Future Vision brochure, the brochure for the very first Healthcare Internet Conference. If you were at the Healthcare Internet Conference in 1996 in Bally's, please raise your hand. A handful of people up here, not many in the back. I expected it to be like Woodstock, like everybody would say, I was there. <laughs> It, it was called Future Vision, and those two words really ring true. Um, if you keep in mind Future Vision, I think you'll find that there were really a number of folks who were involved with really the future vision of where this industry was going. So it was the future vision of primarily John Udys with the help of two others, John, or, uh, Bob Knoll and Kathy Divis, that helped to create and, and really build this conference over the last 15 years. Many of you remember John in various states. This is probably the most common. You would find him in a suit. He was a handsome looking guy. He would make his way around the room. He was the kind of guy who, you, who never had someone that he couldn't find to talk to. And there was never anyone that wouldn't spend a few minutes to sit down and talk to John. He was a very likable guy, a great friend. But I also, I knew him outside of the suit. He was the kind of guy who came over to my house and had dinner once in a while. John and Joanne have always been good dear friends of mine. He was also a crazy guy. So he's Abe Lincoln in the back there in this picture. <laughs> so there were a lot of good times with John and that's why we're excited today to talk about the John A. Udy's Vision and Excellence Award. This is an award um, that we will present every year in memory of John and it's an award that's presented to individuals who embody many of the same ideals that John did for excellence. Those people that believe and act upon an idea that only excellence could be obtained. If you cared more than others thought was wise, if you risked more than others thought was safe, if you dreamt more than others thought was practical, and if you expected more than others thought was possible. An ideal candidate for this award is someone who has made a lasting and significant contribution to the healthcare internet field at the local, state, or national level, exceeded the expectations for someone in their position, and candidates should be thought of or have attributes such as exuding excellence, being innovative and visionary, trailblazing, influential, groundbreaking, those kind of folks. People who are inspirational, evangelical, and can really get a crowd to move. Um, we want to look for an individual who's both inside and outside of their organization influential, and candidates must have demonstrated a willingness to share his or her expertise with the entire industry, a selfless individual. So how does this process work? Well, the nomination form will be available on the Gravestone website. Um, candidates cannot nominate themselves, so they must be nominated. The winner will be selected by a panel of judges, and the award will be honored each year, just like the Healthcare Internet Hall of Fame awards at this conference, um, and, uh, and the winner will receive a physical award. At this time, I would like to introduce Joanne Udys. Joanne will stand up, and um, she's got a few words to share with all of you about John and his vision. So let's give a hand to Joanne one more time. I know, normally don't write my remarks out, but things like this sometimes, I need a few notes here and there. I was so pleased um, to be here with all of you today and to continue to be involved in the healthcare conference. I know John would be so honored that his colleagues have established this award in his name. As you all know, John had a strong sense of curiosity, foresight, and an unbridled imagination, difficult sometimes to live with, to explore what sits on the horizon. His eyes, his eyes always peered, typically over the top of his glasses, into the future. He was never afraid to reach for innovation, think outside of the box, and explore new ideas. This was the cornerstone of his vision for the development of the internet conferences where we could all learn innovative approaches and best practices from each other. It's hard to believe it's been 16 years ago that he sat at the kitchen table and started to jot down ideas for the very first conference. He dared to plan it in Las Vegas, no less, 
we said, little Greystone going to Las Vegas? And he dared to think that Negro Ponte from MIT would accept the invitation to speak on being digital. And it did all happen that way in 1996. It was all quite an adventure for John. He loved the internet conferences and he loved learning from all of you. I want to thank you for your support throughout the years. Please know that it really meant a lot to John. And my heartfelt thanks to Greystone, sorry, for carrying on his vision and planning this wonderful conference. The Greystone team has always been and will continue to be our family. I know he's smiling down on all of us today. And John would say, okay, enough already. Now let's get on with the conference. Thank you.